ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first episode of Minecraft, the Diamond Society. Well guys, for those of you that don't recognize where we are, we are in our little base that we made at the end of the first UHC on this server. Well, for me at least, there have been others before. That's right guys, this is season 2 of the Diamond Society, and I was invited to join along with this great group of people, and I am so thankful that they invited me to join them. So, let us move out from this little place. I have actually been very busy, and as you can see down below, Mr. BC has been very busy over there. Also going to show you a few things that the other people have uh, been busy with around the server, just as a little bit of a getting to know the place sort of a tour. Uh, I'm not too sure where everybody's been building yet, but uh, certain things I do know, so let's come down. And like I said, I've been building on the server already, so I have something to show you guys of mine as well. But first off, let's head on down. Yep, this was the way that Coop made for us back in the UHC, uh, all the way back out to the outside. Uh, I just came over here and spruced up our little hidey hole, and so far nobody's torn it down, but they're more than welcome to if they need the space for anything. So yeah, as you can see in the center there, there's going to be something big being built there by Mr. BC. But if we come over here, as it is getting quite late at night, and I'd rather be inside during the night time. Uh, let's just eat some food. You can see there's a lot of things going on where there's uh, things demarcating where things are going to be. Uh, the server is in its infancy still, well at least this particular part of the server, but things are going along nicely, people are very active on here, building lots of things, and yeah, as you can see, here is a, a very, very cool build right here. So if we come up with these stairs, this is Hodag's Spooky Pumpkin Shack, and inside we have a bit of a, a, a little thing over here, uh, with the book and quill and whatnot. And a book telling you to leave either a scary story or something, and you get pumpkin pie. Uh, so far, both Hodag and I have uh, left some spooky stories there. So I'll quickly put those guy, uh, those up on screen if you guys want to read through them. So this is Hodag's. Just pause the video if you guys want to read it. It's a very, very good tale. I do suggest you guys read it. Hope you read it. Okay. Next is mine. Alrighty, and, yep, so hopefully more people from the server will come and leave their stories over here, it will be interesting to read through and uh, see what everybody's writing. Now if we head up over this way, uh, I think let's head to my place first, and then I'll bring you guys in when we get to my place, because I haven't, I don't want to show off too much. Uh, the things that I will be showing off in this particular episode, people have given me their permission to show off, so yeah. But uh, for I don't want to spoil for those of for people sorry for the people who don't want things shown. So I'll just uh, quickly make a little cut here and I'll meet you guys at my place. See you then. Alrighty, guys, I got to keep moving because I'm being chased by a zombie. But this is our build. This is what we have been busy with while uh, the server was just in a little bit of hold at the end of the UHC there. And this is what I've been building. A nice little uh, home in the mountains. Gonna have a few more buildings scattered around here, but so far I think it's coming along quite nicely. And um, my tree farm area over here where I've been getting my wood from. And near the portal there. Probably gonna put that in its own special room at some point, but for now I'm just using it there for its usefulness. So if we come up over here and look down over there, you'll see that that's where uh, I mine all of my stuff from. Very, very useful indeed. And another thing I've noticed on this server, uh, as you guys come up here and see the place for the first time, please excuse, it is still in, in the process of development, so if it's a bit ragtag, that is why. Uh, I think I'm going to sleep quickly just to make it day. So have a good snoozy. Yeah, so another thing I've noticed on the server is that a lot of the older members have banners, so I'd like to make a banner for myself. So I've just been out collecting some wood, also been getting some cactus green dye going. Uh, which chest is it in? Can't quite find it. Huh. Alrighty, well, I do have a little cactus farm up in this tower over here. So if we come up this way. As you can see, I've been letting some cactus grow around here. It's not fancy or automated or anything, but you guys know me. I've never really been into the whole automation thing. Not that I think it's bad. I think it's awesome for the people who can do it. But my brain just doesn't seem to work that way. It works more on the spontaneous and... Whatever happens, happens side of things. So let's just put all these cactus back down. 
like so. I'm talking about automation. Um, yeah, being on a server definitely has its benefits. I mean, the people here are so nice, guys. You have no idea. I highly recommend you go check out their videos. The links will be in the description below. But yeah, as I was saying, they are so nice, guys. They're really helpful. And if you need anything, they're right there for you. They offer you to help you all the time. Oh, it's just so awesome. Anyway, um, as I was saying, let's quickly put this wool around in a circle. And that is not how you dye wool. I have done this so many times, and yet I always make that mistake. That is how you dye wool. A thice. Thank you. And we need just one more. Is this ready? It is indeed. Then, if we come over here like that, put another wool. Okay. Then I believe for a banner, what we need to do is that. Yep. So we got our basic green banner. Now what we're going to do is... Uh, it needs to go like that, I believe. No, I am doing this wrong. Um, there we go. We want that. Then we need more green dye. Uh, come back to me, bl banner, please. Uh, we're going to put this here. And knock that out like that. That's perfect. And then we have to do... Not that. We do that there we go and this i think guys is going to be our banner so let's head on down quickly and we're going to put that in front of our place on our portal outside here just so that people can know that this is a thysis place so for all the diamond society members that are watching hey <laughs> and this is going to be my banner so if you ever see this banner anywhere it means it's in a thys build and you'll know it by uh, when you see it so let's come over here quickly and place the banner over there. There we go. So that's our banner for the series, for the Diamond Society. That is what it's going to be. And yeah, I'm so lucky, so happy that that strange pumpkin-headed fellow appeared to me. And uh, led me to this wonderful group of people. But, as I said at the end of the last video, he also made it so that we've got a way to go back. So don't worry, we're still going to be going backwards and forwards between the Diamond Society and our original world. Which apparently is in the future of this one. Which is a strange thought indeed. But yeah, there we go. Um, and let's see now. If I come over here. Alright, so that's the rest of that die. I guess I can put that away for now. And then I can show you, if we come down over here, how I have been building things. And I think the perfect room to show an example of that is the one over here. Because it's not finished yet. <laughs> so in this room over here, if we come on outside... You see the sort of style I'm going for? Ah! Whoa, that was a close almost fall. Oh, okay, that was a fall. And that is all my stuff. That happens incredibly often while I work on this place. You wouldn't even guess how often. Okay, I had to just wait a little bit there for the world to reload, and now I'm on my way back down. Hopefully my stuff isn't despawned in this time. But yeah, this, this happens so often, guys. Working from heights is a scary, scary thing. Especially when it's a height like this where you have no control over things. Uh, anyway. Yep, looks like our stuff is still there. Quickly, a thice run. Make it over there. There we go. Got a bow. Got a chest plate. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Nice. And around this way. Okay, so let's put my armor back on quickly. Uh, get my tools somewhat back in order again. There we go. Alrighty, yeah. So, uh, as I was trying to say before that fall rudely interrupted me, I was going to show you guys how I've been building this place. And sorry guys, but it is now summer in South Africa, so if you hear a little humming noise in the background, please, please bear with me, but if I didn't have this fan on, oh my word, I would be dying. The heat is so intense, guys, you, you have no idea. And it's just stormed. Which means that the air is now super humid. Oh, there is nothing that beats like a South African heat storm, basically, is what I wanted to say. Um, let's put this chicken in my hotbar. This chicken got by the uh, chicken farm at spawn. Super, super yummy chicken. I'd recommend it. 
10 out of 10 on all the restaurant apps and whatnot, <laughs> go there or be square. Alrighty, so this is how we've been building the structure. I've been using bone blocks. Uh, fortunately, there's a skeleton spawner. Uh, yeah, I've been getting these bone blocks from a Mr. Techno Gizmo. I've been dropping off some um, iron and diamonds as a, as a thank you to him for all of his hard work. I've got my own little enchanting table over here. Haven't quite got enough bookshelves yet, but I've been working on collecting the paper, as you can see. Um, that has been from Cortez Arena. Also, the uh, fact that my bow has infinity on it. Also, thanks to Cortez, Cortez Arena. Dropped off some redstone as a thank you to him. So, yeah. Uh, it's really, really nice to be in a community for a change, you know. Uh, I've been doing solo videos all of this time, so it's nice to finally get to chat with some like-minded people and enjoy some good conversation, enjoy some good times. Ah, uh, it's just so much fun. So guys, now I'm going to be heading out to somebody else's uh, place and uh, let's uh, cut and then I'll meet you back there. Okay guys, so now that we're in the swamp, we're nearing uh, a certain somebody's base and we should be coming across it quite soon if I have remembered the direction that it's in. And I thought I'd just come past you, just do a quick swing by. I'm not going to be exploring in depth, I'll leave you guys to check out uh, his videos for yourself if you want to see more uh, in depth of what he's building over here. But, well, it's further out than I remembered, that's for sure. Looks like I brought you guys in a bit too early, but that's fine. You get to see a bit more of the server's landscape. You know, we're all about exploring in my single player, so uh, exploring and building, but uh, every second episode's an exploring one, so this certainly gives you a bit of that exploring feel in this multiplayer survival. Now, as you notice, things are a bit laggy for me on here. That's simply because of my distance from the server, and also my internet is not the best in the world. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much why. But as we turn the corner here, I'm going to do a quick run by. This is Mr. Leowen's place, and I think it is coming along spectacularly. A very, very nice start. Eventually, he wants it to be much bigger, and a whole lot more stuff added to it. What it is he is exactly building, I will leave you guys to find out for yourself. But it seems he has, he was debating whether or not to add a few more layers to it, and it looks like he has decided to, which I think was a wise decision for him. And I see he's added some texture on that top one. Very, very nice. Coming along very nicely. So yeah, as I said, I'll leave it to you guys to tune into his videos over there to see what more that he's going to be doing and whatnot. So yeah, see you guys just now. Alrighty guys, just thought I'd bring you in for a bit of a closer view over here at BC's uh, build. Coming along very, very nicely. Um, plus 10 for any of you who can figure out what it is already. Uh, I'd say he's getting it quite nicely done, but uh, I think it's a little early yet to tell what he's going for over here. Still looking very nice. And as you can see, Mr. Lee Owen over there is sleeping, which is very nice, because now I can get back to my base in peace and quiet. One strange thing around here is the prevalence of skelly horses, you know? And talking about skelly horses, I've got my very own skelly horse, which I'd like to show you guys. If we come along down this way. Also, if you guys have any name suggestions, that would be much more appreciated. It's considering I'm not too good with coming up names for my animals. I mean, in my single player, my three dogs still don't have a name and my horses don't have a name. Uh, neither does my donkey. I've asked for names always, but people seem very reluctant to give them. I would appreciate it, guys, if you could come up with a name from Mr. Skelly Horse over here. As you can see, I've got him uh, all nicely situated in a little place of his own. And look at those hearts. Man, those are a lot of hearts. Or uh, horse flanks, or whatever those uh, particular icons stand for. So, yeah, as you can see, he's not the speediest of horses, but he does the job. Especially with all of these hearts, I don't really have to worry about him taking damage. And, yeah. If we have a look over in this area, there's a village over there, a little uh, village. Uh, it's only got two villages left in it though, so I tend not to go over that way. There's no real good trades or anything, but nice to know that it is there uh, if we ever want to do anything in the future. Now, as for future concerns, what I'm thinking of doing is building more houses around the area, like the ones we've already built, and also over here, maybe building some sort of a, I don't know, something on this island um when i say i don't know i do know but it's, it's just a bit early to discuss plans yet 
But I think this island looks really nice and it, and it would fit very nicely for what I want to do. So yeah, um, the last person that I have permission from to show off their stuff, or that gave me direct permission at least, is uh, Mr. Coop Dizzle. As you'll remember, we did the UHC with him, he was on our team. But unfortunately, I don't quite know where his place is. Shh. <laughs> so hopefully next time I'll be able to uh, find that out by then and uh, do a bit of a show and tell on his place. Thank you. So yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this first introductory episode to the Diamond Society. Um, I highly advise you go check it out. As I've said, this is the second season. There was a whole first season before this. Uh, the veterans videos will catch you up. I hope you go check those out. And yeah, as always, my name is Athais. Go check out everybody's videos. <laughs> my name is Athais. Good night and God bless. Bye for now.